Hi everyone, I'm Martin Pickering. Welcome to this new series that's going to be going live every Tuesday. We're calling it Cool Tech Tips and Tutorials. We're going to be bringing you all of the coolest tech out there at the time, as well as tips on how to build or fly better, as well as tutorials showing you how some of those products work, or showing you different ways on how some top level pilots may do things. So let's get straight on with it. Here comes episode number one. We're dedicating this first video to cool tech, specifically regarding batteries and power. Now, you may remember that my New Year's resolution for last year was to get back into flying foamies. That means charging lots and lots of these small batteries that don't last all too long despite having great power. Now, normally, even though we all have a few different chargers, we have to go turn them all on, connect every single battery using both the current and the balancing ports, setting it all up and getting them going. Now, there are balancing boards out there that make life easier. However, you still have to connect everything up. That's why I'm calling today's product Cool Tech. It's a balancing board in which you only need to connect one connector, that is the balancing port. We simply connect that onto there, along with as many other batteries that we want to charge, set our charger going, and in no time at all, we'll have all of those batteries charged, balanced, and ready to go. That's up to eight batteries on one charger in as quick as your charger can go. Each of the outputs on the board is capable of outputting up to 500 milliamps. That means if you're using all of the outputs on the board, the maximum that you can set your charger to is four amps. If you're only using, say, four of them, you would set your charger to a maximum of two amps. The benefit of this particular board is as well that you don't have to worry about using a battery that's full, half or empty with one that isn't in the same state. So you can charge an almost full battery with a completely empty one, with one that's halfway charged, without having to worry. You do, however, have to make sure that the charger finishes charging and balancing before disconnecting the battery. That is because, unlike if you're charging a single battery, you can check that the voltage on the charger is close to full, say, OK, close enough, I'll take my 95% charged battery now. Because of the way this works, you need to let it finish the charge so that all batteries are done equally. Otherwise, you'll find that there are variations on the batteries and possibly even the cells. Personally, I think this little thing is a lifesaver. Just plug in your batteries, don't worry about them, put it on charge and go. And back in no time, you're up in the air having another round of flights in. Now, I've actually spoken with the guys at RC Light Systems and they've promised me to be coming out with more similar great cool products in the future so we look forward to seeing those here very very soon. Cool tech product number two. These are the Powerbox Bat Savers and they're absolutely tiny. Why is it cool tech? Well it can allow us to have safer and longer lasting batteries especially when using big and expensive ones. How do they work? Basically we can plug them in and they will slowly discharge the battery to the same 3.8 volt per cell storage voltage that batteries come at when we buy them new. That's because it's their storage voltage at which they can be left for a very long period of time without being touched and without deteriorating. A couple of years ago, Powerbox brought out their Powerpack batteries and in their pro versions of those, they actually included this technology inside the battery in such a way that if the battery hadn't been used or charged in the last two weeks, it would discharge the battery for you to that 3.8 volt per cell voltage to allow the battery to remain in peak condition for 
a much extended period of time. However, due to people complaining that they would charge batteries up and then go fly with them a couple of weeks later to find that the battery had been since discharged and the recent incorporation of generators into turbines which allow you to recharge batteries on the go which conflicted with the technology in here they've since removed this little chip from the batteries and have now made them available in these two small independent connectors. How do they work? Well, it really, really couldn't be simpler. They have two versions, one for 2S and one for 3S, and we simply connect it onto the end of the battery. The LED will come on if the battery is above 3.8 volts per cell. Due to its small size and the fact that they don't want to deteriorate the battery by discharging it too quickly, it discharges very, very slowly. So depending on how big your battery is and how charged it was, it can take a few hours or even a day or two to fully discharge to that storage voltage. However, that isn't a problem. They are very, very cheap and you can simply leave them connected until the light goes out. You don't need to worry about disconnecting it immediately because it will automatically shut off once it reaches that 3.8 volt per cell voltage. You can of course do this with your charger, setting it on discharge up to your stipulated storage voltage. However, that needs to be done one battery at a time or however many chargers you have at a time. Now, these things are actually rather cheap. They cost about 12, 13 euros a piece and you can simply have a few of them, connect them to your multiple batteries once you've finished the season forget about it for a few days or a week and then come back and disconnect each one of them. That's why I'm calling it cool tech because it just makes life easier for all of us. And yes, it works both with regular 2S or 3S batteries or the Powerbox power packs in 2S or 3S. If your particular battery uses a different connector where well, you can also make up an adapter from your own battery to the multiplex end that's used on here. All very simple, just plug it in, go, and forget about it. And that was the first episode of this new series dedicated to cool tech. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more and check in next Tuesday for the next episode which is going to be dedicated to RC tips. You're really not going to want to miss it. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one. I'm Martin Pickering and I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to come back every Tuesday for a new episode of Cool Tech Tips and Tutorials and on Sundays for flying videos and event coverage. Or hit that subscribe button and the bell that's next to it in order to receive a reminder when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.